How to score a cheap Mercedes. So people frequently ask me how to find a car like the $500, 300E, and I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step process in this video. Step one, find out where all the wrecking yards are in your area. They are usually not on Google. Number two, try to figure out which ones are privately owned. LKQ yards are really hard to deal with. That's why I hate LKQ as a corporation and I really don't like dealing with them because they're just a bunch of assholes that happen to run a wrecking yard. It's like, I don't know, people refer to corporate America as a group of assholes sometimes that have a lot of money and power. Uh, LKQ is probably the foremost example of a corporation like that. So, uh, the next thing that I'm going to tell you is once you identify the, pub, the privately owned wrecking yards, and they will not always be online, most of these wrecking yards are not exactly run by people who care about how their, their yard looks on Google, and if they do, they're probably not going to be very easy to deal with. So you want to go as far off the radar as you can. Third thing you got to do, once you identify the yard or the yards, you make a trip there. You can't call and ask. You don't call and ask. Um, sometimes cars end up in wrecking yards for different reasons, many of which are not great, but you generally have to look the car over and see what kind of physical condition it's in. If it's like a 300E and it's not wrecked, it's not rusty and it runs, typically you have to start looking for other issues why it might be in there. For example, the car might have been abandoned at an estate which is something that we see from time to time. Also, it may just have been more beat up than the person wanted to deal with, and so they just sort of junked the car. Another one is that there might be a lost title. Now, there are companies that actually get titles for you. So if a car doesn't have a title, and you find it in the wrecking yard, and it's in pretty good shape, you shouldn't really run away from it. You should probably, probably just get the car and then deal with the title later, which is what I've done about eight out of 10 times. Now, <clears throat> The people that the people that get car titles, you know, they're probably going to charge you a few hundred dollars, two, three, four hundred dollars, which I think is worth it for a decent car. But keep in mind that this is still a car from a wrecking yard, so it's still going to need some stuff. Uh, what I usually do is I try to decide whether the car is actually going to drive out of the yard or whether it has to be towed out of the yard. Uh, a guy that I knew recently bought a 300 CD turbo diesel 83 out of a wrecking yard that was missing the differential, so it had to be towed out. So you got to take a gamble. He took a gamble and put a differential in it and replaced some of the electrical parts that had been taken off. And lo and behold, the car started, ran, and drove great, which makes us wonder why it was even there in the first place. And that's really the, uh, that's really the truth behind it. People frequently junk cars for no good reason. and. If you're looking at a car and it looks too good to be true and you can't find an obvious reason why it was junked, you just have to remember that there are a lot of losers in this world who will go with whatever their mechanic tells them or whatever some stupid idiot at a tire shop tells them. And again, if it looks too good to be true, then it, it actually may not be too good to be true. You know? So what you have to do after that is try to negotiate a deal to buy the car. Remember that wrecking yards pay about two to three hundred dollars for these cars, and if that's the case, then they should be happy to make two or three hundred dollars on top of that, because then they don't have to store it, crush it, move it around, etc. Uh, as some closing, as a closing remark here, I'd say that just because a car is in the wrecking yard doesn't mean it's the end of the life for that car, the end of that car's life, and that with some hard work and some elbow grease and some diligent research and a few weekends you may actually be able to pull a good car together because you know people sometimes jump good cars anyway thank you so much enjoy driving your mercedes-benz don't disappoint me by letting it end up in the wrecking yard and keep subscribing for our channel for great places to find the mercedes of your dreams